all 20 of those boys, when you look along that start list, have, you know, they've had some incredible performance over the last couple of years, and they're capable of winning races. You, we, we keep talking about your big names like your Bevilacquas, your Ben Carberries, your uh, Odin Parrish. He had a second place here last year. Corey Fletcher, Kai Kinsella. All these guys are, and, and you know, they're capable of winning. But I think the one, if... if we're going to make a prediction or a tip. I, we said about it before, Ben Carberry, Cooper Williams. They're kind of the two guys. We saw Benny Carberry so strong on that ski, he almost got the win in the ski earlier. He just managed to not be able to hold it right down on that uh, on that wave in the final final moments of the race. And Cooper Williams, he, he led the swim race around, so and he's the local favourite. He'd love to get the win here. There's no doubt about it. I'm going Ben Carberry or Cooper Williams for my two picks. Who are you going, Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad you didn't steal my pick because I'm going Matt Bevilacqua. <laughs> I think that is just the a surest of sure things. And look, if he doesn't get across the line at the end, you know he's going to give you a good chance. But I think if I wanted to throw a roughie in there and I wanted to sort of get away from the, uh, I guess, the, the obvious, um, someone like a TJ Hendy. This is mm -hmm. a day like him, and I think he's really fit at the moment. He's in a good headspace, um, and he's in that headspace where special things happen around him and um, we know we know the uh the the sort of the namesake there trevor hendy and his dad and what he was able to achieve and look tj has those special moments in him he has that ability to be able to win a race um corey taylor maybe hasn't had the start of the season that he'd be hoping for a win here wouldn't surprise i, I say the start of the season he's the world uh, the world champ from the start of the season but I think since that world championship he hasn't had the form carry on through and um, you can see him closest to the screen right now but look at that fast start through the middle for Cooper Williams and um, as well as that on the white and black ski Benny Carberry absolutely flying JC Joe Collins right through the middle and uh, as well as that closest screen the yellow ski as well moving really really well over the top of the water the glow worm Bo Wheeler Charlie Verco there close Joel Piper um, he's, he's won their watch as well and up and coming he's just up the road there at Maruchidor as we see up and over the top is that uh, Corey Fletcher that's gone up and over the top of that one it is Corey Fletcher really fast starter is that the glow one look at Bo Wheeler oh he, he wore that one on the chest I thought he was he was flying there he's he's got through pretty well I dare say he might even be at the back he is too look at that Corey Fletcher and Bo Wheeler from Burley Surf Club one and two at the moment on the northern end as you look to the top of the screen, that's Cooper Williams and Matt Bevilacqua, third and fourth. So that is a great start for Corey Fletcher. He's not the best swimmer, but he's got a huge board leg and an even bigger sprint finish up the beach. You do not want to be in a run against him. Look, I think in the uh, the way that the conditions are and the way that the surf is today, that uh, it, it, you probably don't need to be the strongest swimmer. It's all about skills right now. And uh, I'll let you in a little secret here with uh, Bo Wheeler. I spoke to him this morning and said, how are you going to attack the race this afternoon? What's the plan? Blah, blah, blah. And he basically said, I'm going to get out and I'm going to go flat stick from the start. I'm going to get myself into a position and then just hold on and hope. He goes, just put it all out there and let, let luck be luck and, and see what uh, comes of the race right there. As we see Corey Fletcher turn for home and look, one thing that is in Corey Fletcher's advantage is his finishing with his strongest leg, which is his board. We see Matt Bavalacqua in third, Cooper Williams in uh, in four there. We call it through as well. It looks like uh, the pink ski, ski on the pink ski there. He's uh, the boys. Corey Fletcher looks over his shoulder. I think there's a uh, there might be a bit of a set on here as I see he oh big wave on the horizon as well. The bumps start to line up as they roll on through at Alex Headland Beach. All thanks to the Sunshine Coast and Shore and Partners. The boys go. This is it. It's it's, it's a bold move, isn't it? This early in a race, they're going to have to tack. They're going to go. Finn Askew takes one oh, on here. Matt Favalakwa is in it. a bad spot right here. I don't like the way his ski's moving. Corey Fletcher has attacked this one and it has exploded as you would. Would probably expect you've got to risk it for the biscuit and he's gone he's out the back Cooper Williams in a beautiful spot right now if he managed to paddle over the top then he is going into I think a really really strong spot Bevy's off Bevy's gone Finn Askew he has a knack in conditions like this to be able to find a way to win races on surface Paradise Beach last year he won a race in similar conditions but I tell you there's going to be some sound on the background noise soon because Cooper Williams is going to light this beach up. He is uh, he is a superstar athlete. He's going into one of his strongest legs, which is the swim, and he's a man possessed at the moment. Cooper Williams, we've talked about it all all day long. He's just come back with a breath of fresh air. He's, he's fitter than ever. He looked great at the trials, and he looks like he's ready to win races. Finn Askew now runs around that transition just in front. Cooper Williams, the home hometown champion, close in second now. As I watched 
that wave in third, I can see Ben Carberry, TJ Hendy and Bowie Wheeler going three, four, five. Charlie Burko in six, Jackson Borg in seven and eight. It looks like it's one of the other Morris boys. So that top eight, we've seen it time and time again, Duff. Two legs to go. It is far from over. And there is some big names in the mix. But i tell you what's caught my attention and will drag. I can see Corey Taylor's ski washing in there. Matt Bevelac, we're in and a Matt good spot still as we see Corey Fletcher. So those boys aren't out of it. They had, uh, they attacked. You've got to risk it sometimes. You've got to take a gamble. And they took a gamble. It didn't pay off, but it hasn't cost them too much. Look at Kai Kinsella. Seller. He is gone. He is a man possessed. He... He is excited because, do you know what he knows? It's his swim leg coming up. And if anyone right. can pull out something incredible right now, I have never seen anyone pull out some freakish results or like Kai Kinsella. That kid is part dolphin, I tell you what. He has a knack of picking up waves where there's waves not on. But as we uh, turn back to the, the front of the race, Finn Askew, as he went past through transition, he looked as light as a feather. And so, to me, that tells me that he hasn't actually cooked himself too much in that first leg. It looks like he's got plenty of uh, fitness, plenty of energy still to go. Um, he's currently got, you'd say, 10 or 15 metres to Cooper Williams. Uh, we know that Coops is going to come back into this, though. He is a super, super swimmer. Um, silver at the uh, Australian titles last year, so someone that we know is high-caliber athlete. But Finn Askew is just this young gun that well, really has a mentality that he's the best out there, isn't he? They call him Alley Day 2.0 because he's similar in stature. He's a little bit smaller. What's quite unusual is he's got a massive tank. He's renowned for his sort of endurance racing. But yet you would say someone of his size and frame wouldn't be great in the surf because he's a little fella. But, mate, he won at Surfers Paradise last year in the Nutrigrain Ironman Series. He won in massive conditions. And he's come from a surfing background. He's actually got incredible surf skills. So for a small guy like that that normally gets tossed around in the surf a bit, he seems to put himself in the right place at the right time, and he's doing that right now. And, look, he looks comfortable. He looks really strong right now because we know that Cooper Williams can, uh, can really make a move in the swim leg. And I would say, if anything, Finn Askew has, has, um, has lengthened this lead out. He's going to get the first crack at the waves as we see the chase pack in the back end of the screen there. And they're into that green water now, so they're going to be turning for home pretty shortly. And, uh, oh, underneath that one. So Cooper Williams is going to have to go nice and low for that one there, get right down to the bottom, pick up some sand and uh, collect some shells off the, off the bottom of the ocean there. But Finn Askew looks really strong, Pulley. He does. He's got a big tank. We talked about it before. He's a super fit young kid, so there's no way he's, he's sort of fatiguing right now. He's just starting to wind up. Up. Similar to that Ali Day stature, he actually gets better as he builds through the race. He picks up more and more speed. As we can see, Finn at the top of that screen. Uh, Tom we Scott, got Tommy there. Scott, Kiwi boy, he's just qualified into the, the Ironman series for his first time. We know Cooper Williams is in second there. He's an incredible swimmer and he's certainly working very hard it's to try TJ and find TJ so Hendy. At the top of the screen, you've got Finn Askew giving him close, really, really close to him there is TJ Hendy. And we spoke about it. He's in this frame of mind where anything is possible and when that then that when that's sorry apologies i'll get it out eventually <laughs> when he's thinking like that he is literally unstoppable and anything can happen you see cooper williams start to come into frame there so he's down the bottom of your screen um he's going to pop into frame right about now so it's finn Askew's surface paradise tj hendy's surface paradise there's a bit of sp love going on right now as cooper williams jumps jumps in there comes in the bottom of the screen but it's going to be finn Askew to get to look at the waves first if there's anyone else that's got a uh, a real knack for reading the ocean it comes from the pedigree of his dad tj hendy you're exactly right Stu. tj hendy is incredible when he's on he's on he's mentally when he's switched on he's he's a bloke that can definitely win races he almost won an australian title he finished a very close second or third i believe a couple of years back he won his first ever summer surf race at queenscliff beach he managed to just pick me actually he got me in the run up the beach but He's one with a board leg to go. He's super fit. He seems mentally switched on and hungry to win races. Mate, Finn Askew and TJ Hendy, one, two from Surface Boys. They're out in front and they're, uh, they're, they're leading the way for the Cavalab Troopers. That's it, the Cavalab Troopers. I like that one. And yeah, cruel of TJ to pit you on your uh, your first beach as a nipper. You are a Queenscliff boy, born and bred. And um, you sort of bounced around a few a few times following coaches and things like that. And landed in a, in a home of BMD Northcliffe at the end of your career. But as we see here, Finn Askew just starting to look underneath the shoulder. They're going to four or five strokes and look under the shoulder, start to find a wave. And 
Um, there's, there are a few bumps on the horizon, nothing incredible, nothing crazy, but at the moment, Finn Askew, he's in a, he's in a, he's in a race of his own. And this is where you're in your own head now, aren't you? You're starting to, to wonder where are the waves, how far am I in front? You, you really start to just have to go through your own process. And um, it can be a little bit of a lonely world out there sometimes when you're leading a race. And he stops, he looks, he, he thinks, where he are the waves? He's something, where he's seen something. He's in a dangerous place. We talked about this before. And we Look saw at the Lizzie do it. She back. ended up swimming to the beach. We can see a couple of bomb waves out the back as they're standing up now. TJ Handy gets a chance and he wears it. So he was in the uh, opening promo, qualifying rounds. It was pretty similar to him. Cooper Williams on top of that one there. Oh, so Cooper there's Williams one holding wears that. one He's still on the on head. That. And there, the light blue cap. Who is that? Is that Hayden Cotter? The light blue cap of Hayden Cotter from Manly? I think it might have been bobbling off through here as the boys in the back. T. Jay Hendy, Trevor Hendy, take a bow because that is what you can do. Can he hold it on through? Now, this is the special stuff that we talk about when it comes to TJ Hendy, that we've surfed like this in conditions like this, that anything is possible and anything can happen. He's got the uh, the little one at home. She'll be cheering him on right now, possibly on the beach. I haven't seen her around today, but um, a, a new, a newly uh, a newly crowned dad. And he's got a big smile on his face. Already. Does he know he's got one leg still to go? He's in a... He's in a really positive frame of mind. He's going to turn for this. He's got one leg to go. He's got one hand already on that uh, big novelty check that's going to get Kai handed Kinsella, out. Kai Kinsella, I saw that. Was it? It's Kai Kinsella. Look at the man. He is possessed in that transition. Adam Palmer he is as well. flying through. Kai Kinsella into Adam Palmer. They are chasing down TJ as TJ makes his way back into the water. He's headed south. He knows how he, he's going to play the percentages now. He's going to go into the south, get his way as quickly around as possible as we see. Cooper Williams, Finn Askew, Zach Morris and Hayden Cotter rounding now. Again, we've, we've said it time and time again, they're still not out of it, these boys. Kai Kinsella and Adam Palmer look like they've run in very close, just behind there. They've followed the same line as TJ. I'll be interested to see if any of the boys throw the roll the dice, throw a Hail Mary, and they go straight. Maybe it works, well, maybe it doesn't. What do you do? If you're do you want the win? six, you, you've got to roll the dice. I think you do roll the dice. I know. I'm, I'm a, uh, maybe it's a little bit of gambler's fallacy, but I, I see it as an opportunity to, to make something different, to do something different, and not just follow the trend, because, look, you might be some hell of an athlete, but to be able to make the inroads and paddle them down maybe a little bit challenging as we see uh, Palmer there close to screen Kai can sell her up on the blue and orange they pop up and over and then right in there nice and close as well is Cooper Williams so Cooper Williams is not out of this for the home club but it's TJ Hendy right out in front at the moment as we see pop up there looks like he's paddling one of the lifeguard boards but it's that um, C2C shape there with the uh, with a big background. He's going to have to roll this one. No, no, he sits and pops. That's a brave move. He goes across arm, across the handles as well. But they have really closed that gap. Kai Kinsella and Cooper Williams oh, are Cooper starting Williams to eat on this into this. Look he gets at the under rating. This. Oh, he does. He puts his head down and just pops under that. But there's one more even bigger behind it. As we see, TJ Handy is going to wear the brunt of that duff. That is cruel. The ocean not letting him out yet. He pops that one and just got completely engulfed. Kai Kinsella gets a really good ramp there as well. So Kai Kinsella was a little bit further back, had a really good ramp, a bit momentum. TJ Handy's going to squeeze through under that. It's Kai Kinsella with his nose just in front. Cooper Williams, though, going to have to sit up and roll. Kai Kinsella rolls, and he gets a nice little roll through. And TJ Handy keeps momentum. He's up on board. So it's TJ Handy and Kai Kinsella with Cooper Williams back in third spot right now. Up and over. Now, that is... That is telling right there. To get up and over that, that means that the rest of the boys are wearing that one on the head. So at the moment, we've got a two-horse race. It's Kai Kinsella closest to the screen from Burley Heads, Mowbray Park, and TJ Hendy from Surface Paradise. I tell you what, Duff. Waterman. That is, this is the pressure cooker of the race. All comes down to the final leg. Basically, as you sort of said, you know that all 18 boys are in that impact zone getting smashed by that whitewash as we're watching now. TJ and Kai Kinsella are shoulder to shoulder, side by side. They know one of these two are going to win. They know that it's either them or the bloke beside them. And they are nervous as hell because they are tired. They are fatigued. The heart rate is up. They're thinking of the points, the cash that's on offer. All you've got to do is round again, get to the beach, get your toes up first into that sand, and you win. Where well, we spoke about at the very opening of the, uh, the Ironman package that we have the best seat in the house. And sometimes when you've got the best seat in the house, you notice things. We noticed Kai Kinsella was a man possessed. We noticed that TJ Hendy was 
in this great frame of mind that anything is possible. And to be able to have these two at the end of this race in a position where they can possibly win it, take home the uh, the 10,000 points and really cement themselves on top of the overall standings, crown themselves the Hayden Kenny Surf Classic Champs, all thanks to Shuren Partners in the Summer of Surf. This is why we love the sport. This is why we do this sport. And look at the wave as well. They wow. start to come. What a drone shot we've got them from the production team of Seven Plus. Kai Kinsella heads towards the Southern Bluff whereas TJ Handy takes a more direct line into the beach. Who's going to have it? Who's going to take oh, it on? Oh, look Kai. at this. Look at this. Just suck back up on that bank. That is an absolute monster. I hope the broadcast images do that one justice because that was enormous right there. TJ Hendy and Kai Kinsella, look at that. Bit of sportsmanship. Good luck. Where's your money at, Paulie? Oh, after watching those first two transitions, Kai Kinsella was moving through those transitions like a man possessed. Look, TJ's pretty quick up the beach, but Kai Kinsella can move. So. I don't know. I'm going with the man from Burley Heads. I think uh, TJ Handy's trying to force him up a little bit north. TJ Handy's going to get a little stroke in. He's going to go. Now, TJ Handy knows how to celebrate a win. We've seen it from Queenscliff. He knows how to celebrate. He gives a big roar, and he is crowned. Yeah, Hayden Kenny, classic champ. All thanks to Shore and Partners in the Summer of Surf. And a big hug there from a club mate, Zach Orchard. What a performance. What a race. 10,000 points. Kai Kinsella rounding out in second. Who's going to feel this podium, though, Paulie? That was insane to watch. Hey, you can see it's been, it's been a few, oh, a while between drinks for uh, TJ Handy before it, but since he's popped that champagne. But uh, he wanted that, as we can see. A couple of the boys rolling in. There's one on that wave in front there. I can't quite. I think it's Adam Palmer. As a few boys take an absolute bomb out the back. We can see Adam Palmer riding that through to the beach. It looks like he's going to round out the end of that podium for us. TJ Handy, Kai Casella into Adam Palmer. Who'd have thought? What a crazy wow. result. What what a podium. Not not a podium you would predict at the start of a race, would you? Obviously class athletes and superstar people, but not not a podium you'd pick if you give it a thousand times over, but a, a well-deserving win and victory for all of them. Um, TJ Hendy, is he back? Is he in this true form where he goes on and, and uh, continues to win race after race and following the, uh, the great footsteps of his old man, Trevor Hendy, as we see the Burley boys battle it out over across the line as well. But a massive performance from TJ Hendy as well as Kai Kinsella. These boys are racing all the way to finish because they know there's super valuable points on offer and every, every point is going to count at the end of the day. And these boys are just fighting tooth and nail. I cannot wait to hear what TJ Handy has to say because he has many, many words to share. And here we have on the beach, TJ Handy. Well, I'll tell you what, boys, he crossed the line and there's uh, two words that come out of his mouth and it's, oh, I'm back. How good is the tease to win here at Alexander Headland? Yeah, Ty, it's unbelievable, mate. Like, it's been a while between drinks for me, so, you know, I'm pretty proud of myself. I've had a cut rough couple of years. My life's turmoil at the moment. It's, everything's going nuts, but... Mate, I need that prize money, so I'm absolutely stoked. I love the process. I'm in love with the sport. Mate, you talk about the prize money, but how special is it? Let's think about it. It's the Hayden Kenny Classic. You know, you talk about the name of Hendy and, and the great things you've done and, 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 and doing and the things that your, done, your dad's done as well. But Hayden Kenny, to win this event is pretty special, isn't it? Oh, 100%. You know, I come up to the Sunshine Coast and no one really knows who a Hendy is. They all know the Kennys, so, um, you know, they're... They're, they're rich in the Sunshine Coast in tradition and obviously they've got a huge family name and I absolutely love all of them, so sorry about that, sorry. Um, yeah, no, I'm absolutely stoked to do it in the Kenny name. Mate, you've had a newborn as well throughout the year and uh, it's something special. Was it the daddy powers that got you up and across the line today? Mate, <laughs> she changed my life. Like, there's no other way to say it. Like, that is putting your I body was in on the deep, line. Deep, dark boy. place, overweight, <laughs> playing victim mode, and um, she dug me out of it. So, uh, this one's for Adeline. Super special now. I read a great thing last week. I spoke about, you know, you see yourself an Ironman, but you see yourself more as an ocean man. And out there, you really tame the ocean. It's testing out there, isn't it? Yeah, I've had to become an Ironman as well, but the ocean man thing is something I probably um, haven't shown enough, to be honest. So, I'm glad to win in these conditions and show that, um, you know, I'm capable when it's four to six foot. Well, boys, he's back. What about this? Round one, $10,000, $10,000, 10,000 points. Look out for him this summer. TJ Hendy, take a bow. Ah, thanks, mate. Cheers.